basically all you need is a 9 by 11 inch pan and parchment paper. You can get it really cheap at Walmart. You want enough paper that it'll cover your chicken over the bottom and the top. Spray the bottom of the pan with Pam. Then put in your chicken. For this specific recipe, I'm using three pounds of chicken. Season as you like. I like to put um, a bit of salt, <laughs> pepper. garlic powder onion powder chili powder cayenne and a fresh herb like parsley I also throw a couple of teaspoons of racaito seasoning from Goya on there. Now you spray the top of the parchment paper, you cover the chicken with it, and then you tuck in the sides like you're tucking someone into bed. And you want all the sides to be tucked in so it can seal in the juiciness. You pop the chicken into your preheated 400 degree oven. Depending on the thickness of your chicken breast, you cook it for 30 to 45 minutes. Always check your chicken with a meat thermometer. It should be 165 degrees. So yeah, the parchment should be nice and brown and toasty. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Now that our chicken is pre-baked, we can make our jalapeno popper chicken recipe. It's so super easy. So first you just saute some uh, bacon and onions and then you dice up some fresh jalapenos or you can use canned jalapenos. That's fine too. After that gets all nice and brown and delicious, you add it to your cream cheese mayonnaise cheese mixture. You mix it all around until it's well mixed. Now at this point, there's a couple ways you can have your chicken. You can either have the chicken breast laying in the pan and then you just spread this uh, mixture on top of it. Or if you want it more like a casserole like I like, like I like a nice mixture of everything, um, I cut up the chicken and put it into the mixture. So it depends on how you want it. You can either have it laid out right on top um, of your chicken or you can incorporate your chicken into the mixture. Whatever you like. So now you take your whole mixture, place it into your 9 by 11 pan. For your topping, you're going to mix together butter, parmesan cheese, and breadcrumbs. Place the topping on top of your chicken mixture. And you want to cook it for 15 minutes in a 350 degree oven. As you can see, I forgot to turn the oven down from 400, so it came out a little bit more brown than I wanted, but it was still absolutely delicious. If you make it with the three pounds of chicken, then you have enough for 12 servings. Not including the rice, here's the macros for one serving. Again, you can modify it how you want as far as the butter is concerned. That's where the fat's coming from. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, things were harmed in the making of this video. My measuring cup fell from the cupboard right onto my purple pan. So you'll notice that I was cooking in the beginning with the purple and not at the end. So that's my honest review of Old School Labs Vintage Blast Free Workout.